to come. A research center that works to prevent crime. We're back for more with Professor Graham Evans of London Metropolitan University. I understand you also worked at a place called Design Against Crime Research Center. You also worked with them, uh, which is located at the University of Arts London. Yes. First of all, what is Design Against Crime? Well, the, the center, I'm, I'm on the, the, the board of the Design Against Crime Center that I helped uh, establish. Uh, I'm a visiting professor there as well. Design Against Crime, it's a uh, kind of technical term is crime prevention through environmental design, or also known as situational crime prevention. So as you can tell, the focus is on the environment, how you can actually uh, better design urban spaces and facilities to reduce the opportunities for crime, mm -hmm. uh, and also to make people feel safer. Uh, and there are some very simple measures in terms of lighting, uh, street furniture, the design and layout of roads, uh, planting and landscaping. Uh, but very important is the idea of natural surveillance, mm -hmm. eyes on the street. Uh, if places are dead at night, or if you're living in a suburban area where everyone leaves for work and all the houses are empty, or in office blocks where they just work nine to five, you can see obviously you're much more exposed. If you have a, a more mixed range of activities throughout the day and evening, if there's people coming and going in activity, uh, that in fact is probably the number one <laughs> best, mm -hmm. safest, uh, safest environment. So physical design as well as uh, vitality and activity, and in a way the creative city concept is quite important for that because it's not a nine to five, not a nine to five culture. People are coming and going and seen and being seen, and places are open. Uh, then of course it's it's much harder for criminals. Criminals like quiet, closed, dark, mm -hmm. uh, dark uh, spaces. In terms of some of the practical products mm -hmm. uh, worked on. Uh, is in bars and restaurants, for instance. How many times you go in a bar and restaurant, uh, you have a handbag. You put the handbag on the floor, you're sitting in a bar. I mean, that's the number one place where you lose a handbag. You put a mobile phone down. Uh, simple things like you can design a, a hook that goes under the bar or on the table so it's not on the floor. Uh -huh. Simple things like that. Uh -huh. um, more more um, robust uh, bicycle locks. You know, you, you have the bike stands, maybe like this. Now, in London, we suffer from bike theft a lot. Why? Because our mayor, a former mayor, introduced congestion charging. So you pay out £8 a day if you want to drive your car into the central part of London. So people... When that came in, a lot of people decided to cycle. It's good, it's healthy, it's cheap, it's better for the environment. So it's all around a good thing. But, of course, people are spending more money on more expensive designer bikes. And, of course, they make them more appealing to uh, uh, to be stolen. Mm -hmm. So we have to get a bike, bike theft problem. So one of the design against crime solutions is to produce better designs of uh, bike stands. Uh, we have this kind of M shape rather than the kind of upturned U shape so that you can put two locks or even three locks so that you don't, uh, you can lock your bike and somebody may st steal the wheel. Oh. It sounds ridiculous. But so, so the research yeah. centre works with practical applications like to that? Totally well. practical, yes. Oh. So we work with the, with, with the police with city authorities, with particular facilities and particular communities that are suffering uh, design problems. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Mm -hmm. We're meeting with Professor Graham Evans of London Metropolitan University. Now we're going to take some questions from the audience. Hello, it's such a pleasure to meet you. And I just want to ask that I heard that London Metropolitan University's um, design concept was selected for Samangam Island project. Yes. And I was just wondering, did you have, did you ever had a chance to participate in the project? For real? Uh, I haven't been there as yet. My colleague in our architecture school, Professor Florian Bagel, was part of a winning design team. Uh, and two other teams from America, from uh, Columbia at MIT uh, in Boston were also uh, selected. So one of three design teams uh, selected under a, a commission, uh, I think, uh, presided over by your current uh, president. Mm -hmm. um, the next phase I will be working on the more sustainable urban planning aspects. It's a very large area, you may know it. I think you have the biggest seawall constructed in the world, uh, creating the lagoon, six separate uh, islands. But the geographical area is as big as central London, so a big challenge. So we, I will be working on the, the kind of mix of residential, employment, cultural and creative to see whether we can inject some 
Crater City cultural planning concepts into this uh, exciting new project. So you will get involved. You weren't initially involved with the Not in the de part. design. That was mm -hmm. more because I'm more of an urban planner uh, than a, an architect. Okay. So uh, at the next stage, yes. All right. Yeah. Let's take another question. I heard that you stay Hanok in Kime. How was it? Yes, it was. Uh, I, I I flew here on uh, overnight last Tuesday. Arrived here Wednesday evening. Uh, flight down to Kimhae. Uh, straight into this. Uh, Recreated, but all, but all authentically laid out and designed uh, Hanok little uh, village. Uh, it, was, it was fascinating, the privilege really to experience. I don't think you have that many of them in, in Korea. I think you should perhaps have more. I think visitors, as well as Koreans, there are mainly Koreans staying there. Um, a shock for me because we're not used to sleeping on the floor. Right, or taking your shoes off before going. <laughs> well, that's 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 a good a good thing to do anyway. But uh, but we have futons in, in Britain, but they tend to be much more padded. Right. This one was sil silky, and beautiful, but not very padded. Was it uncomfortable? Uh, no, it wasn't uncomfortable. We just took a bit of getting used to. We we used to bigger bigger pillows as well. So uh, after a couple of days, I'd I'd adjusted to it. But uh, also the food was the you know, authentic Korean cuisine. I, I don't eat meat, so lots of vegetarian and fish dishes was perfect for me, so I was pleasantly surprised. Mm. Uh, and it's, yes, it was a beautiful centre. Well, Hanok is supposed to be eco-friendly, nature-friendly, human-friendly as well. Yes, a, a very calm, quiet right. environment, so yes. Well, although this was your first visit to yes. Korea, hopefully it won't be the last, I believe you're coming back this fall for the Incheon Global uh, Yes, Fair the uh, Asia-Pacific Cities Summit is being held in Incheon hosted by the Metropolitan City Government this uh, 15th to 17th of September. Uh, the theme, I think, is creative urban management. So we see this creativity is starting to, to come up uh, different ways. Um, and hopefully I will, I will be presenting on that, uh, that particular theme in September. Yes. Right. And hopefully uh, while you're working on the Semangun project, you can visit Korea a lot more often. Yes, too. yes. Well, I'd like to travel around a lot. It's, it's, it's a beautiful country. Well, I want to thank you very much for your time today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your stay here, and we'll see you back here very soon. Okay, so good. Well, that's it for this edition of Heart to Heart, but if you want to re-watch the conversations we had with Professor Graham Evans again, then you can do so by coming to the Heart to Heart homepage, available on IEM TV's website. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again next time.